let's now look at the country's uh, current COVID-19 situation. Six more cases of the new strain Omicron has been detected in some communities in the country. Presidential advisor on health, Dr. Anthony Siasari, who confirmed this to Joy News, will not disclose the areas but says the airport still leads in the detection of more positive cases. Despite the danger associated with the Omicron strain, Dr. Nsiansari tells Joy News he's hopeful vaccination against the strain will offer significant protection. Continue testing also within the community. And now we've realized that we knew that at least some of them will slip into the community. So the Omicron has come in. The Omicron transmits so fast, and that's why it makes it very dangerous. For a lot of people who will be, will be infected, there are a few people who are very vulnerable. So we believe that during this time that we have very few cases in country, and since we have a lot of vaccines in the country, to vaccinate as many people as possible so that when they are even infected, they will not be sick. One of the most important things about COVID-19 fights is to make sure that you reduce the number of hospitalizations so that we can use the critical care beds for other cases. Because if you put one COVID-19 piece in an isolation center or in um, an intensive care unit, you cannot put any patient there again. So we have to make sure that we don't have so many very sick patients. And God being so good, cases that we have seen, even during this Omicron period, who are vaccinated, only about 2% of them are uh, uh, vaccinated. About 98% of them are about unvaccinated people, which means that the vaccinated people, even if they are positive, don't exhibit signs and symptoms, but they can infect. Okay. So taking the passengers, testing them, and isolating the positive cases will reduce the number of cases which has been that which is being done. Because since the beginning of this month, in fact, from the second week of December, mm. the most of the cases that we are seeing from the first week of December, yeah. the first week of December, mm. are mostly about sixty percent of them are from the airport. Okay. So in the community, there are very few cases. In fact, there are about ten of the regions for the past one month don't have any positive case. So it's a good sign for us. But we have to work hard, increase our vaccination, and then testing at the airport, isolating them, and making sure that they don't go into the community. Meanwhile, Foreign Affairs Ministry has placed a travel ban on three countries following the upsurge in Omicron cases in those countries. Excepts of the statement release a rate Government of Ghana has initiated temporary travel restrictions on all travelers arriving from Israel from Monday, uh, December 20. There's another temporary ban which has been um, placed on uh, people from um, Malta. And it says permission will have to be obtained from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in special cases. To this end... Yes, so the, the, the second one is from South Korea. And the ministry says, to this end, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration wishes to state that the general public should take note of the above and adhere to it accordingly. There's a third temporary ban, which is on all travelers uh, to and from Malta, with effect from Monday, December 20. The ministry wishes to indicate that government of Ghana does not recognize any vaccine certificate from Malta. To this end, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration wishes to state that the general public shall take note of the above and adhere to it accordingly. How our COVID-19 case is looking right now. On your screens, you will see the COVID dashboard, which shows new cases to stand at 71, active cases 973, Confirmed cases now 131,911, deaths 1,255, and recoveries 129,683. And in that map, you would see that Great Accra is still leading with infected cases, followed closely by the Ashanti region. Head of Risk Communication and Director of Health Promotions at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Abwajid Acosta, is encouraging the public to comply with the COVID-19 protocols and not let their guard down since the country is recording cases of the Omicron. 
yes, we are picking more cases at the airport, and um, we will obviously continue to monitor the measures that we have put in place. And should we have to take further action, we will. But at the moment, it is really working well for us. Um, I think uh, because more people are testing positive, obviously, our isolation centers are also being stretched. So even the government um, isolation center, for example, is full. So we are using other facilities, uh, other hotels uh, that normally we will not have used to build. I've only said that if you're a Ghanaian, government will accommodate you. But now we have to use other hotels and the numbers have actually increased. So that's one of the challenges. And also, uh, because more people are testing positive at the airport, I mean, no distress on our staff and the others. So um, there are challenges, but I think it is effective. Um, so we will continue to work uh, within uh, the best of our capacity. But I think, uh, like was said by Dr. Nsiansari, uh, the first samples we took were from the airport, which we had about 34 of the Omicron. Then the second batch of sam sampling, which was the community sampling, we had between six and seven, but I think it is seven. Um, so what we did was we obviously have to strengthen our community surveillance. Uh, contact tracing actually occurred. So those people who were sitting um, on the flight and other people they've been contacted. And contact tracing is obviously ongoing. But there is a, there is a next batch of um, a community sampling that Noguchi and Wabik, they are also doing the genomic sequencing. So we will find out how many... Uh, people do have the Omicron virus, then at the same time, like as I said, our uh, director did not put uh, it out 